Welcome engineers. I'm Travis IQ and this is day two of studying for Pentest Plus. More of the same and a little bit of difference. Let's go. So we've done the hardest part. We've started. Easily the hardest part. I would encourage you to feel as accomplished as I do after day one. Now what we need to do is kind of continue on that path. We need to continue doing what is going to make us successful. And for me, as I have a really strong foundation in all of this material, I need to start identifying the areas that I'm not as adept in, and I need to start filling those holes. We did this yesterday, and we're going to continue to do that today. You'll see me doing some studying and upskilling myself in some of those areas like WMIC and some of these Windows tools to exploit Windows systems. Some of it will be looking at some of the exploitation framework and some of it will be continuing to look at the exam topics and determining what my deficiencies are, adding some, adding some things to that pool because we obviously did not identify all of the deficiencies that I have in this entire exam space on day one. So let's continue on with that. We'll try and get better every single day and we're gonna spend every day getting better. Let's go. So what I'll do here is I'll give you a little bit of information about what I'm seeing and what I'm continuing to think about as I'm working my way through some of the course content and the exam objective content. What I'm seeing is my deficiencies still continue to lie in the areas of application testing, application development, and maybe even coding for exploitation. So understanding the looping or the code mechanisms or appending to code and, code and databases. And so I'm gonna to continue to kind of upskill myself in that area. I have also identified you know, areas like older CVEs or old, older well-known exploits that I think I should be a little bit more familiar with that maybe have slipped my mind over the years. So I'm gonna continue, I'm gonna go back through and probably just give myself a refresher on some of these older really well-known exploits like Eternal Blue would be a good example. And then also, again, refresh my memory around some of the intricacies associated with things like Nmap and Windows command line and even some of the Linux command line intricacies. Some things that I've noticed that have kind of slipped my mind that should be really well known, especially for someone in the pen testing field, would be things like Linux file permissions and Windows file permissions and manipulating those file permissions. And while you know, I don't necessarily do Windows or Linux administration on a daily basis. When you're doing exploitation of those networks, it's also just as important to understand those things like file permissions. So I'll probably take a look at some of the, some of that additional content as well. Let's transition back to some of the some of the things that I'm going to use to supplement this knowledge, and we'll call it a day for day two. All right, we've made it to the end of day two, and I have identified some additional components of the exam content that I think are probably weaknesses of mine that I need to upskill on. And I've also continued to reiterate some of the issues that I that I knew I had probably on day one. So one of those is the, the area of application testing and application exploitation. And so although it's, this is probably the area that I'm weakest on because it's the, the, the one that I have spent the least amount of time in and probably the one that I have the least amount of content available to me in terms of, let's say, um, books and leftover material from things that I've done in a previous life. And so I'll probably use the grand old Google machine for things like that. Some of the other areas that I want to continue to sharpen my skills would be in the areas of the context around protocols. Let's say for things like Nmap, Windows Command Line, PowerShell, Python. And while I do have a good background in these, what I have found is that if I'm looking at some ex some sample test questions, right, they, that I would say that it's probably more acutely testing those types of things. And I should probably be a little bit better at them. And so the first thing that I have available to me in terms of content that I have here is this stack of books. One of them is the Red Team Field Manual. Now, I really like the Red Team Field Manual. I'm gonna go back through this line by line probably with some really great content in it. If you don't have one of these, I would say pick them up. Windows Command Line is in here. Linux command line, some Windows network commands, a bunch of really, really good, a really, really good content. Meterpreter, um, just some really, really useful, clear, concise content in here. I know they redid the Red Team Field Manual. This is an old one, so I'll put a link to the new Red Team Field Manual in the description below. But this is a really, really good piece of content. It's the reason that it's right at the top of my stack. Another one would be security and pen testing with uh, basics in Kali Linux. I like this book, although it is a little bit older, probably actually useful for me in terms of the exam objectives, given that the exam objectives, in my opinion, tend to be a little bit older. And I will probably focus on some of the older exploits. An example might be something like Eternal Blue or something like this, that, that will, would likely pop up in an exam infrastructure and would definitely be a, a legacy system, would still have a vulnerability like this, and you would see them all the time. But I don't necessarily think of them in my brain as the you know top of mind 
exploits that I want to be focusing on, and I probably should, especially for an exam, or even if I were to be in an actually in an active pen testing environment. Another is Violent Python. This is, again, this book in particular is a little bit outdated. I believe that they've updated this thing, but it's still a really great reference point and should be really good for me during the test. A, a good book that I, I will probably only pull a few things out of out of this is Proof of Concept. These are some of the, the, I think it's like the top 10 or top 20 best Proof of Concept hacks of all time. And so there are a few in here that are very old that, that won't be relevant, but a couple that I won't, I might just look through for nostalgia and make myself feel a little bit better about some really cool stuff. And then last but not least is some reference material that maybe some other penetration testers might not have, but because of my background in network infrastructure, I've got a couple of really great pieces of reference material for exploiting network and network management protocols specifically. So this isn't exploitation, this is the essentials of SNMP, but how do you exploit protocols? You need to know how they essentially work. How do you exploit SMB? How do you set up a, an active SMB client and, and exploit an SMB session once you've established persistence in an environment? Well, you gotta know how SMB works. How do, you, how do you manipulate SNMP? Well, you gotta know how SNMP works. I will probably review this. And then there are a bunch of other additional network protocols in, in, in the larger book, The Network Warrior, which I actually really like as well. So I'll be going through some of this material. You might say, Travis, that looks like a lot of material to go through in seven days. Again, let me reiterate that I have a strong base in the fundamentals. I've been through each one of these books, besides the proof of concept book, cover to cover. And the Red Team Field Manuals, that's not very impressive, but I have been through it cover to cover. And so I'm going to know more about where to look in these books than perhaps you might if you had this book at your disposal. And so understand that, again, although it's a compressed time frame, I have a lot more of the tools and I've already been through a lot of this material and so it's gonna be a lot, more, a lot easier for me to identify my deficiencies and pull them out of these books. That being said, we're at the end of day two. I'm getting pretty exhausted. We're gonna call it a day and we're gonna fire it up on day three. Engineer, break stuff, have fun, let's get out of here.